Uh, guys, we're, we're here sitting in Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. We just concluded uh, the last night uh, of revival here, and uh, I believe God just has been doing a great work here. This is Pastor Nate Stevenson. We haven't really had a chance on any of our videos to introduce you to him. You've seen some of the photographs that we've made and uh, of him in action here at the school and, and in other places, but we haven't had a chance for you to hear from him. And uh, Pastor Stevenson, I just want to first say a thank you for allowing us uh, these uh, <laughs> A white boy from Texas to come share your pulpit Amen. here in Chula, Amen. Mississippi. Amen. And uh, I can't tell you how much uh, it, it has been really a dream of mine to be able to, to share the pulpit and find Amen. unity under the banner of Christ. God's given me that opportunity, and I'm thankful that he's allowing your church to be a part of that. Uh, that vision has given me as well. And, and I just want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Oh, and, man, anytime. And so, uh, so Pastor, what, uh, you know, when you... When you think about uh, the work that has gone on this week, uh, um, what are some of the things that uh, you saw uh, kind of hit some needs and maybe what some things that we as a church back in Emmanuel can be praying for uh, for the future, maybe for future opportunities for us to partner with you or, or just things that God is putting on your heart that uh, your church needs to be involved in that we can be praying for? Well, it was so much that uh, we had the opportunity to engage in this week. I mean, everything that... Uh, Emmanuel and Calvary and uh, the churches included uh, had done was most definitely evangelism. Our city is in need of it because of the poverty level and I think that have caused a lot of discouragement especially with the church and we want to start going outside of our walls in that uh, this venue this week have created that avenue that we can reach out to the community. That's what we're trying to do. So I'm excited about it. I appreciate God sending you and the Emmanuel Church here uh, doing what you do. And then the kids, mm. uh, absolutely uh, ministering to the kids because of uh, well, most families here are single parent homes and that leaves the child all alone to do whatever they want. Sure. And so that allows uh, them to behave in a manner that's unseemly, especially what we taught on today, mm. which was uh, respect and authority. That's yeah. most definitely needed. So uh, while we were there, I was at, I had the opportunity to ask the question to the principal, uh, what do we need to do as the church? And he gave me a couple of things that I believe is going to be beneficial, uh, just saying to the church the need of us being involved or showing our faces, showing them that we love them and extending a reaching hand to them. I think that's a blessing, and we had that done this week. So I'm excited about God and His work. Well, you know, I'm always excited about kingdom work, and mm -hmm. uh, wherever that has taken me, wherever it's taken our church, uh, uh, Jason has had the uh, privilege of going around places to lead revivals in San Antonio and, and in other places, and uh, we're in Colorado oh, even. Yeah. Um, and uh, God's allowed me to, to be in other foreign countries. And, um, but there's nothing like uh, experiencing uh, the different cultures in our United States. I mean, it's so amazing that we can literally be just at our back door mm -hmm. and have a completely different culture that because we're either turning a blind eye uh, for whatever reason, like we've talked about tonight in our service, right. uh, the divides right. that we've created as a nation, right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited that Christ shows us that there is a bridge that we don't have to agree on uh, political stances. Mm -hmm. We don't have to agree on uh, whether or not we need to stand for one life over another. We don't, mm -hmm. we don't have to agree on any of those things, educationally or anything, but Jesus Christ is essentially the, the unifier. He's the one that brings us together. Uh, mm -hmm. And that was what God's design was. And that's, and that's what we talked about tonight. Uh, if you go back and watch our um, a live stream, you'll see that that was the message for the night that God laid on my heart. Uh, because I know, I know in the white community, um, we sometimes turn a blind eye and, and we start seeing the same things that, mm -hmm. that those in the black community see or those in the Hispanic community see that it's all about who we are. We got to stick to our own. And, and, and God didn't design us that way. He designed us to come together under right. the banner of Christ. And, right. and so brother, I, I'm so thankful that 
I've got a chance to, to do more than just uh, talk to you on a phone now yeah. or through a Facebook message. Yeah. We've done a lot of that over the course of these last yeah. few months or talk through a text message, but to, to spend some time to hear your heart, to see your passion mm-hmm. for the people. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Brother Nathan here, he, is, uh, he has been uh, here for almost two years. Yeah. Uh, and just became full time here just this past November. Please be praying for me. And so that that's a, that's an awesome thing, and, and we're excited what God is doing uh, in your life, your family's life. You got a wonderful, beautiful wife and, and wonderful children. Uh, this church is amazing. The people here are outstanding. I mean, I, we want to bring their musicians home with them and merge them with our musicians <laughs> no, and, yeah, and, and uh, some of their singers to merge yeah, with some of our singers and. Uh, but it was so awesome. I know some of our ladies uh, were here on Monday night, got a chance to experience uh, the, the goodness of worshiping together. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, and they went home wishing they didn't have to and uh, were even text messaging us even today that we're praying for you tonight. And so, uh, so Pastor Stevens, I, again, I just want to say thank you from Jason and I uh, having this opportunity from the ladies that had a chance uh, being a wonderful host. Um, putting up with these these guys from Texas, uh, we even found yeah. some Mexican food in Mississippi. Was it was good, yeah. and he brought us up to Greenwood and uh, to eat up there, and uh, uh, even got a chance to meet the sheriff down in Yazoo City and the deputy sheriff, which attends this church, and got to meet uh, uh, school officials, and it's just been a wonderful, wonderful time of ministry that wasn't just all about what took place in this room. It's what we got a chance to do out there, which is what evangelism is about, what the gospel is about. It was never meant to be the four walls of the church. It was never meant to be about uh, this church or that church. It was meant to be about us going. It says, go ye therefore into all nations, making disciples. And so uh, that doesn't keep us landlocked with our geographic locations or our skin tones or our economic conditions. We go because Christ called us to go. Amen. And we work Amen. with everyone because everyone has a need for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So again, thank you so much for your time. We love you, man. It's love good to too. have a new brother in Christ Amen. that we get to talk to and fellowship with. And and, and uh, Emmanuel, we are uh, looking forward to having them come and join us in the near future. Amen. They're talking about their, their youth uh, choir may be coming and we got uh, one of the guys that's in this uh, gospel group here in the area that's really outstanding yeah. we're talking about uh, Pastor yeah. Stevenson coming and sharing the pulpit and and doing some revival messages for us and uh, and so I, I pray that you'll be praying for that opportunity it'll give a chance for his church to get out of the walls Amen. and uh, just as we've had a chance to get out of the walls and, and we're gonna be doing more of these opportunities folks and so I pray that you'll stay tuned for the opportunity you can come and be a part of. We'll be looking forward to, in a couple of weeks, you'll be hearing testimony of the ladies that were here uh, in our Sunday morning services. We love um, you guys. And, and yeah, and man, thank you ladies for the work you've done this <laughs> week. And even the encouragement to me as a pastor with all that was going on in my family, you ladies were encouraging me and praying for me. Thank you. And I, I thank you for the text messages and Jason yes, received absolutely. some text messages. Yes. Thank you for that because I so needed it because my mind was there. But my mind was absolutely here. And, and I believe that God used your prayers to keep my mind focused and keep Pastor Stevenson's mind focused and Pastor Jason's mind focused. So again, thank you. Uh, thank you, Emmanuel. Uh, thank you for everyone that's been following us on Facebook uh, yes. and been praying for us. And uh, keep praying for us as we leave out tomorrow morning and make the five-hour journey home to White so that we can be with our wives and children. And so God bless y'all until we see you again. Uh, take care.